Hi there, this is Dane from the Web Start support team and I just wanted to talk to you about a couple things uh, regarding your Web Starts website and your Web Starts account. Uh, this is another tip uh, that stems from a question we had from Ed about his uh, search engine placement. So Ed just got a website and uh, he's not able to find himself on the search engines. So um, I'm going to use this website as, as an example to show you kind of some tips and what you can do to make that better. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is log into my Web Starts account and uh, you'll see this dashboard right here. So I'm going to grab my domain name which is ddex.com and I'm going to go over to Google. You can search for uh, your website specifically if you type in site colon and then type in just the domain name. So I can see that uh, my domain name is actually listed with Google and uh, it's going to show only pages from that domain name. So it looks like a lot of my pages are actually indexed, so that's good. Um, but what I would like to be found under is keywords. So something like, um, this is a deck building company in Tampa, so something like decks, um, deck builders Tampa would be a good example. Now I don't appear to be listed on the first page. Nope, I'm not I'm not on here. So that's that's not good. Um it it also makes a lot of sense though because it looks like there's a hundred and twenty thousand results for that. Uh I'm I'm sure that I'm one of the next pages. I'm sure that I'm within ten maybe. Uh if not I'm in there somewhere because these words are on my website and Google knows what my website's about. So in order to get higher on the search engines for these keywords, uh, you have to do a couple things. And most of it lies within your Web Starts page settings. So to access that, click Edit Website to bring up your website editor. And click on File. Once that loads up, click on File and then Page Settings. Here you're going to see page title, keywords, and description. These are the three most important things. So uh, as you can see, I already have these set, and that's because these are the keywords that I wanted. Uh, the Deck Builders Tampa thing was not what I was going for originally. I was actually going for people that are searching for Deck Tampa, Docs Tampa. And uh, Designer Decks is the name of the, build, uh, the actual website and the actual um, company. So I also have these keywords. These are a number of keywords that I want to target as well. And then the description is just a natural language uh, description of the site that has those keywords in it. So that's definitely going to be the, the first thing you need to do to get your website found uh, with uh, for the keywords that you're looking for. So if you have a dog training company in uh, you know Chicago, Illinois, you'll want to put dog training Chicago or uh, you know any keyword that you can think people will be searching for. Obviously they're not going to be looking for you if they're just typing in dog training so don't expect to be found for dog training either because it's probably a very very competitive search term. Dog training in Chicago is probably competitive as well but it's probably not near as competitive as dog training because that has no uh, local specific area. So once you've done that um, that's just going to tell Google what you have on the page. That's going to be good, but it's not going to be good enough to get yourself higher on the search engines uh, if you really want top search engine placement. So what I did is I created a blog, which I suggest everybody should have a blog. So I created a blog that uses these keywords, the keywords that I wanted. Um, I have, looks like I've only got one entry so far. Um, but I'm going to be writing more and what I see here is uh, a little um, little article that has a lot of the keywords. You can see deck, doc, you can see pool deck, um, affordable deck, you can see all the keywords in there that I want people to be searching for, uh, you know, I want to be found under. So once you've made that and you've got your keyword set, 
when Google comes and indexes your page, you're going to see that you're relevant for those keywords. So I'll just show you a little bit of an example. Um, Deck Tampa is one of the more competitive keywords in my area, and I can see that I am showing up about number seven, about number six or seven, and that's good. That's our, that's my home page, and uh, I hope to get found like that. Docs Tampa is the other one. Um, I don't know that I'm on the first page for this, but yeah, I'm probably on the second or third. Anyways, I just wanted to show you a few good things that you can do to take care of uh, your search engine placement. There you can see I am. Um, and the last thing I wanted to mention is our search engine products that are really going to help you get through uh, the, the search engine ranks. The first one is the Traffic Booster. This is a monthly search engine submission that submits your domain name to Google, Yahoo, and Bing, the three major search engines. And that's to basically ensure that your website keeps getting re-indexed and uh, it keeps your content fresh on the search engines and it uh, basically shows them that you're serious about the web. So if I were to make changes on my website, like maybe I wrote a new blog article or two, and they don't get re-indexed, then it was all for nothing. So uh, sometimes they'll re-index you without submission, but most of the time you want to be sure and submit your domain name to the search engines once a month either way. And that's exactly what the Traffic Booster does, and it's exactly what you need to get, uh, to get higher on the search engines. So the last thing is this uh, Google Local Listing. The Google Local Listing is what gets you listed on Google Maps, and I'll show you exactly what that is. I have a Google logo listing for my company and you can see it when somebody's searching on a map and they search for a deck company, they're bound to find me because I have my, uh, my Google local listing set up properly. And I'm definitely one of the options when it comes to finding um, you know, a service or, or a business. So this is what it looks like if you have uh, a Google local listing then when somebody searches in your area uh, then you're going to be on that list and that's super important because more and more people are using uh, the Google Maps to find stuff to find businesses and to find uh, services so make sure and check that out the very last one uh, I should mention that I forgot about is our Google local uh, our Google listing express this is brand new um, but it's basically to get your website listed on the search engines. If you just got your website, it's probably not going to be listed for several weeks. If you want to get listed there today, that's what you want. It gets you listed there within uh, a few hours, three to four hours is is really uh, what you can expect to get on uh, the search engines for. So if you don't really have the time to do it, uh, to get to wait to get listed, that Google Listing Express is exactly what you need. So make sure and check those out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the few little tips and advice that I gave you today. Um, but you should be well on your way to getting your search engine position way up there and uh, getting successful and making money on the web. So uh, if you have any more questions, I'd love to hear about them. Put them in the comments or uh, email us at support at webstarts.com. Thanks.